Hello everybody and welcome to a new MA Tips video. Finally, the version 1.0 software of GrandMA 3 is released. Now it's time to connect our on PC with a command wing and an on PC node. Let's have a look how to do this. First of all, we enter the menu and we have a look at our network settings. You can find them on the left-hand side of the menu. Here we have an overview of all our stations. You can see that we are already connected with the on-PC command wing. This is just a USB connection to your PC. Let's have a look at some information we get here. First of all, we can see our IP address. We set the IP address in our network interfaces. Especially on your computer, you will have several interfaces you can use. So please make sure you use the right interface to connect your network with the node afterwards. Also, we can see the name of the session, the name of the show file we actually loaded. And if we scroll to the far right, we can see the software version we are actually using. The software version will become important when we connect our node later on, because the software version has to be the same. When we are happy with this information, we just start a network session. So we enable our network with the network button at the bottom right corner of the network window. You can see that our on PC gets an idle master now and has a green background because it's ready for networking. Let's connect our on PC node now. After we connect the node, we leave the network window to refresh it again. So we have to enter the menu again, see the network settings. And now you can see that you have another line which says network node. When we unfold it, we get all information of our connected on PC two port node at this case. First of all, there are two things we have to take care of. In some cases, it can be that the two port node comes up in mode two. So in the software to run in the GrandMA2 system. You can change this by pressing and holding the encoder at the front panel of the two port node. You press and hold it and after some time it will say switch to GrandMA3. Then you just press the encoder again and the node will come up in GrandMA3 mode to use it in a GrandMA3 system. The second thing we have to look at is the software version. So again, we scroll to the right in our network window and we can see the software version at the nodes. I'm very lucky because my software version is exactly the same, so I can use the node now. If your software version is not the same, then you have to update the node with a USB stick. Therefore, just download the GrandMA3 software from the homepage. You will find a zip package which contains one software, which is the same for the consoles as well as for the nodes. Just unpack this zip folder on your USB stick, switch off the node and connect the USB stick with the node at the back panel. Then start up the node and the software update will run immediately. You just have to press the encoder at the front panel when the node tells you to do so. Please keep in mind that when you boot up the node, the display needs some time to run up. So you will only see on the encoder at the front panel that the node starts up. So far, so good. When the software update is done, we have exactly the same situation like I have here now. So we have our on PC and the network node, in this case an on PC two port node with the same software version. Now let's have a look at the IP address. Per default, the on PC node comes with a DHCP IP address. That means an IP address in this typical range of 169.254. something. When we have a specific IP address like we have in our computer now, we have to change the IP address of the on PC node. Therefore, let's go into the IP address cell, select it and do a right click. And you can see the network interfaces of your on PC node. Here we can switch off DHCP in that column. So just do a click on that cell again. And now we can change the IP address of our node. So we can select this cell again, do a right click and then type in a fitting IP address. So in this case, 
11.0.something. I choose 11 at this case. We press please in this calculator and the IP address of our node will change. Furthermore, we should take care about our subnet mask. So we select this cell also and we just change this to 3 times 255. So for the private class C range and we press please again. When we are happy with the changes, we can say apply changes at the bottom left corner of the network interfaces window. You can see that the IP address of our node is changed. Now we are only one step away. So we select our network node, in this case, the onpc 2 port node, and we can invite this station with the button on the left-hand side of the network window. So we press invite station. You will see that the session name will get the same. Our onpc station changes to global master and the two port node gets the status slave. Both devices are green in the network window, so we can see that they are connected in one session together. So we are ready to use it. Let's have one look at our output configuration. So as you know, we can change the output configuration of the onpc command wing and of the onpc node as well. We enter the menu therefore, and here we can find the button output configuration. Here we also get an overview of our on-PC command wing and the network node and all the XLR outputs. You will see that you always get the most available XLR outputs in the whole system. So there will be always displayed eight of them. We know that at the on-PC command wing and at the two port node, we only have two XLR outputs available. So the first two XLR outputs are important for us. Here we can change the universe with the first column of the XLRA output, for example. So we select this, we do a right click, and then we can select the universe, for example, universe 10. Now our XLRA of the onpc command wing will output DMX universe 10. Let's also have a look at the modes. So we can select different modes. We have RDM enabled per default. That means we output our DMX universe and using RDM data. We can just output without RDM data. We can switch it off completely or we can even use it as a DMX input. Okay, that's it for now. Take your OnPC node, connect it to the OnPC and have much fun with version 1.0.